Cats see the world very differently from us. While their vision lets them be great hunters in low light, us humans have some advantages over them. Here, I'll break down what cats actually see, how their vision compares to dogs, and why cats freak out when they see cucumbers. The biggest difference between the eyes of the internet's favorite animal and ours is our retinas on the back of our eyes. That's where we have all of our photodetector cells that convert light into electrical signals that our brains can understand. Humans have several different types of photodetector cells. Cones detect color and let us see when it's light out, while rods help with seeing at lower light levels and our peripheral vision. Cats have a higher concentration of rods than us, but a lower concentration of cones. Having so many rods makes them great at seeing in the dark. They only need one-sixth of the light that we need to see in the dark. A reflective membrane in their eyes called the tapedum also improves their night vision, and this is what makes cats' eyes seem to glow in the dark. But having less cones makes color seem a lot more muted to cats. While there's a common misconception that cats don't see any color, they can see color, but they see different colors. They have two types of cones instead of three, like humans. So by our standards, they're colorblind. They can see shades of blue and green, but they can't really see reds or pinks. Those may just look like other shades of green to them. Purple could also be confusing and look like another shade of blue. In people, a blindness to red light like this is called protanopia, and it results in things looking like this. Cat's eyes are more on the sides of their head compared to us, so they can see a wider field of view. Cats have an angular field of view of 200 degrees, so they can actually see a little bit behind them. However, we see the world in a lot higher resolution than cats. Average vision for humans is described as 20-20, while the average vision for cats is around 2100. That means that if a cat is 20 feet away from something, they only see the level of detail that the average human would from 100 feet away. So cats are essentially nearsighted. They can't see things far away from them very well. But seeing things up close at their resolution still works well for hunting prey. Your cat's sense of smell is actually more important for them recognizing you than their sight. Cats' pupils often look pretty different from ours, like little slits instead of circles. Their pupils can open and close way more than ours to let in different amounts of light, and they can look like slits when it's bright outside. While our pupils can dilate by a factor of 15 to adjust for light levels, cats' pupils dilate by a factor of 135. That's how they can see both really well in the dark and see in the sunlight without getting blinded. Cat's eternal enemy, dogs, actually have pretty similar vision to cats. They also have only two types of cones, making them colorblind by our standards. They also have more rods than cones in their eyes, just like cats, so they can see better in the dark than humans, and they see more muted colors in general. And they don't see in as high resolution as humans. So cats and dogs have a lot more in common than you might initially think. Now, the big question. Why are cats absolutely terrified of cucumbers? The leading theory might be less crazy than you think. It's because they look like snakes, especially to cats who see the world a little blurrier than we do. Also, in those funny videos, they're usually surprised by the cucumber slash snake, so that's why they're extra spooked. Click to watch my video about how mantis shrimp see the world, which is pretty wild.